Hey gals, winter is finally here and it's super cold. My first concern is to prevent any hair and skin dryness and damage due to the cold weather. So it's time to add a little more to your hair routine. Banana is rich in natural oils, potassium, carbohydrates, and vitamins that help in softening the hair and protects the hair's natural elasticity, preventing split ends and breakage. Bananas creates manageability, shine, growth, and controls dandruff. Whoa, doesn't that sound wonderful? Olive oil. It nourishes, conditions, and improves the strength and elasticity of your hair. Eggs. The white part helps with strength, and the yolk increases the shininess of your hair. Okay, everyone. So today, let's talk about hair masking. Although winter is finally here, and every time it gets cold, my hair tends to be, be dry, brittle, and it lacks shine, but not anymore. So I decided to do a little research on some hair care tricks. And it turns out that one of the best way to keep your hair looking healthy during the cold wintry weather is with the help of hair masks. So there's so many remedies, ingredients, and all that. Everybody has their own favorite. And since everybody's hair is different, you just have to experiment them all until you find the right one just for you. Okay, so what I did uh, a day ago is I mixed banana, olive oil, and eggs together to make this amazing hair mask. And it turns out that my hair looks much healthier than last week. So here it is. You can even add yogurt, mayo, etc. There's so many ingredients out there like I mentioned earlier. But I really do prefer yogurt during the summer day since it has cooling properties in it. I usually eyeball the amount of ingredients to make my hair mask. Um, if you have thick or long hair, you probably need more of each. But nothing can go wrong. Everything is good for your hair, especially if it's all natural. No like you know harsh chemicals involved. So um, all ingredients you pick is good for your hair. But warning though, the banana one, make sure you puree the banana. The result of the banana has to have like the baby food consistency. If you just mash them up and it looks like it's ready, don't do that because I've done that and it turns out you will end up with banana chunks in your hair after washing them and you gotta like pretty much comb it off and pick them up and I'm pretty sure you don't want to do that. And that can get really annoying for some people, especially me. You might mix the banana with the olive oil and the egg, both the white and the yolk because they are both good for your hair. My little trick on how to apply the mixture into your hair is I would dump the whole mixture into a Ziploc bag like that and then kind of mix it around one more time. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to snip the tip off like that much right there and then it'll look like um, an icing bag and you just pretty much squeeze it in onto your hair and apply it like that so by doing this it's much easier and less mess I recommend um, dividing your hair when doing the mask because it'll help distribute the mixture evenly onto your head oh an important part after getting the mixture onto your head don't forget to massage once you're done with all of that, you would cover your head with a shower cap. And if you don't have a shower cap, you could use a saran wrap. That's what I did to my hair because I couldn't find a shower cap. So I just pretty much um, got a whole sheet of saran wrap and just wrapped my head in it. And it stays pretty well. And you know, I just kept it in for 30 minutes. You can always go longer than 30 minutes if you want. Um, for me, I think 30 minutes is just great. Make sure you rinse your hair with cool water because I'm sure you don't want to cook the eggs or the banana because that would that can be really ugly. Oh, and also washing your hair with cool water adds extra shine to your hair and gives that healthy look afterwards. And after all of that, shampoo and condition as usual and style the way you want. But try to stay away from um, any um, heated stuff as in like the blow dryer, when you dry your hair, try to dry with like, you know, the cool setting or the lowest temperature you can. So that way, you know, your hair won't look too dry. Or even towel dry your hair, that helps too. 
So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my little talk on some hair masks. And if you enjoy it or something, you can definitely try it out and let me know how you like it. And feel free to share some stories of your hair mask experience and all of that and other ingredients that you find it really um, helpful and that works. I really love reading stories like that. I didn't really do a video to show you how I did it yet because I just did it and then it came out really great and I just want to share it with you guys but um, I guess I'll be uploading another video on how I did it. So let me know if you have any other questions and I want to say thank you for those who subscribe to me and if you haven't, check out my videos and if you want to see some more, don't forget to subscribe. Last but not least, thanks for watching. Goodbye. See ya.